Tim, you uh, promised us some trade news. Yes, well, there's a lot of names that people are starting to talk about. So we, we thought we'd go through them one by one and discuss them. Luke Jackson is the one that he will end up at Fremantle. He's basically um, committed to them on a long-term deal, which I believe to be seven years. There have been people at Melbourne even this week that think he could change his mind, but I'd be ready to take that to the bank that he'll be a Fremantle player uh, by the end of the trade period. Josh Dunkley is the one that well, Luke Beveridge talked about him um, in the post-match press conference when they lost to Fremantle, and he, he didn't sound very convincing, Caro. It sounded like no. he was more chance of going than he was staying, and Port Adelaide looks to be the most likely destination. Port Adelaide, had... Port Adelaide believe that uh, Brisbane is a serious contender yeah. too for Josh Dunkley. Yep, out of contract. Um, and, and he'd be a great fit at Brisbane. Mm. If yep. you think Lyons has just tailed off a bit older, he'd a slot straight in. His family in Queensland, I gather, mm. so um, mm. not quite there yet. So look at that money, that money, Brad Hill. Yeah, $900,000 is what the St Kilda Football Club offered him. He's on that until the end of 2025. So given um, everything that's happening at the moment with the Saints, given that Clarko, the old coach, um, one of the old coaches of, of Brad Hill, Rossi being the other one, is at North Melbourne, it makes sense that you would think North Melbourne might be able to have a look at him depending on how much cash of that St Kilda yeah. would be willing to pay. Yeah, really interesting. I think he'd He's got to be happy to stay and, and happy to be moved. I think the Clarkson, where he played in three premierships and played the wing how Clarko wants him to play, it really w would work for Brad, but there's a lot to work through and there. And the, the Jordan Dugowie situation is becoming more uh, complicated and convoluted by the week because he's playing better, so that makes him more attractive for Collingwood to keep him, and Geelong have pulled out of the race, which means that his options are limited. I think it's either stay at Collingwood on um, limited guaranteed cash or take more money at St Kilda on a longer-term deal. Uh, I heard Steve Hocking interviewed over the weekend, and he was talking about Tyson Stengel and saying, if, if, what are we here for if not to take a risk, yep. take risks? And wealthy success, well, not wealthy, but successful strong clubs can take bigger risks than the smaller clubs. So Richmond took the risk on Marlon Pickett, for example, Geelong on Tyson Stengel. It's actually really surprising they're not prepared to take a risk on Jordan to go. Those guys didn't cost a lot, though, did they, financially? Uh, no. So they're, they're cheaper. But I just wonder if Hopper decides to go to Richmond, mm. whether they could revisit at Geelong, potentially, to look at Dugowie or a Dunkley to get in if they've obviously got the money to do it. And an, How another... can Richmond fit in Hopper and Taranto? I know that there are pay cuts being taken by their big names, but... I don't want to use the D word in front of you again, Caro, because I get shut down every time. What's D? Dustin Martin. He's not... He's yeah, not yeah and I'm anywhere. shutting you down on that one yeah. too. I disagree. Well, you, you, Thank you've you, got, you've got mail that he's staying. Man. You've got mail that he's staying. Oh, I can't see him leaving. Well, we he's know, staying. We don't know what we don't know. We'll just leave it at that. And Brody Grundy as well. Um, and, and this is... I think, as you pointed out earlier, Ross, he might be dependent on what happens with Luke Jackson. But he's on a million bucks until the end of 2027. Or and dependent on what Sean Darcy delivers. That's right. F forget what Collingwood are saying publicly. That they are Their salary cap is still a, a, a right. borderline disaster. So they need to move money out. That's why they're looking at offers from uh, Ford to Goey and Grundy. Do you think it's help. possible Grundy could approach them and say, recalibrate because I want to stay at Collingwood? Recalibrate my contract? No. Okay. And just on this man, uh, we see huge money paid for guys like Tim Taranto and others. I really like this. You know, you look at bargain basement sort of players. That's what uh, Tyson Stengel has been, a bargain basement. I think this guy is just getting better and better. Blake Akers. Blake Akers. Yeah, I think he's just growing in confidence. He didn't seem to have it at St Kilda. Now I see a wonderful half, player, Ross. Yeah, half the battle is getting yeah. in their right spots. He's yeah. a winger because he's got a massive tank. And, and he Carlton. can go up and down. But I think Fremantle can afford the... Because they can play a long game. They've got enough money in the bank now. That's the same as Lobb going and Jackson in. They, they've done enough yeah. to go, let's keep planning for be at our best in three yeah. years' time. He's probably the informed wingman at the comp at the halfway mark before he, before Very he got Very good player. Mm. But, but I think they're taking a long-term view on their list.